ชีวิตนี้หักไปโดยเจดมนาซองเปรย์กรุ๊ปนี้หนึ่งจูบอุปสรรคเซ็งเซ่โดยจะยืงกำปองแต่โชว์ตัวมุกนมมวยอย่างท่มหายสายกูวิ่งมือเตอร์กูไอ้คลายปีบ้านหนึ่งลางดอลกำปูเพื่อไอ้ยืงมีนเพียบไปคลายมนุษย์มันอาจเก่งพอดปีปัญหาหายมนุษย์กรุ๊ปนี้จองบานเจจุมเนี่ยปีปัญหาหนึ่งคนตายตรึกดังถ่าเนี่ยมันเนยตายไอ้เต้รูมนุษย์เนยจุงเวงเนี่ยจังช่วยเนี่ยชีพิเศษพระเยซูนักแห่งเนี่ยหายจำช่วยเนี่ยจินิกตรุ่งกู้ชีเจจุมเนี่ยในยืนขนมกุมปีบันใจถ่าสมอเปรกุลเปรจิมิจ่าได้ปฏิญเอายืนมีเจจุมเนี่ยร่วมจิมวยเปรกริจินิกโดยเช่นสมดาวโดยเจจุมเนี่ยสุดสุดได้พวกมาบางคนถึงอ่ะคนนี้ Hello everyone สบายอ่ะ Are you doing งั้นยังมีรอมทักชมรมเพิ่มคลังเหมือนเต้น And I feel really excited tonight ยุบรุกชมินออกกามาลองเตี้ยนองแก่ได้ใจใจเพื่อมตัวบองจมวยบองปนถึงอ่ะคนนี้ Because I have the opportunity to share the word of God with you ขนมชนามนี้ขนมชนามปีปอนพายใบตาบองปนประมาณเนี้ยจองเคยกาทมกาลางนองจมวยบอยยิง So for this year the year 2023 Do you guys want to see great things happen? ประมาณนี้จองบานกาพลัดประดนในครองชีวิตระบายยืนของชนามนี้ Who wants to have transformation in your life? เอาคนเอาคนได้ไหมเจ้า Thank you. You can put your hands down. ในครองสิริระบายยืนจะมีรอมท่านิจิสิริมวยได้ชมปิ้งเจ็ดคลังเหม็นเต้น And I'm so excited about this series. I love it. ให้ชมตัดตึงรุ่งจำสิริในชีวิตนามหาย And I've been waiting for this series. ให้ดิบรูปมูลหัดได้มูลหัดจำตึงตึงรุ่งจำสิริได้ซาตายนี่จะเอาไว้ได้พระองค์จองอย่างรุ่งหนึ่ง Because I believe that God is calling us to live this out พระองค์จองอย่างรุ่งหนึ่งดาวดำเนินเจจุมเนี่ย He is calling us to walk in victory เจจุมเนี่ยในครองกรุปนายถึงอ่อนในชีวิตระบายยิง In every area of our lives จังมีสมนุมวยสุดท้ายบัสนจียังอายเพื่อเอาไว้มวยหายอายพลัดโดยชีวิตระบายยิง So I have a question If you could do one thing to change your life And it's something that you can do. Would you do it? So we had two uh, different lessons in our uh, series already. One was using worship to fight our battles. And when we have bigger problems, worship even harder. The next one is the secret of using the word of God. And today I'm going to have a topic. It just is so powerful. It's an amazing weapon that we can use in our spiritual lives. So we, today's topic is prayer that changes things. Because we don't want to have just regular prayer. Because if we just pray regularly, we'll just have regular things happen to us. But if you want something more than normal, something more than natural, we need to pray. So what is prayer? Prayer is a conversation with us and God. So it's not just a conversation with our mouths, but it's putting our hearts to connect with God. So imagine if I'm talking with my wife. And I would talk like a robot. You are the most beautiful woman in the world. I love you more than everybody else in the world. How would you feel? She would not feel touched. But if you actually love someone, you're going to speak from your heart. In order for the person who's listening to you to, to really receive what you're sharing. So prayer is a time where we allow our hearts to connect with God. 
And it's not just something that happens once in a while. It's a daily lifestyle. Because if you love your spouse, you're going to talk with them every day. And if your relationship with God is like that, we will want to talk and have a conversation with God daily. So every problem that we have, every solution God has already prepared. But we do need a key that He's given us and put in our hands. And it's the key of prayer. Because God has already prepared it. He's not lacking anything. We haven't even experienced the problems that he's already provided the solutions for. But the key is that it starts with prayer. This is what this one phrase says. So every solution he has for our lives can be accessed through the key of prayer. And prayer is the mighty weapon that Christians we have access to. It's a relationship where we connect with heaven. And God opens heavens and allows power from heaven to come down and be experienced by us in our situation. This is prayer. It's just not, it's not just normal conversation. But it's a way that we can speak that can transform our situation. It's a way that speaks that we can uh, change what's happening. So the first thing that the step that we need to make to make a difference. First, we need to dare to pray big prayers. Why do we need to pray big prayers? Because we believe in a big God who's amazing. Our God is so big. Why would we pray a small prayer? Because He has awesome things for us. And I have one thing. Uh, a picture of, that I want to say. Prayer, like a big prayer is. First, we need to know the one we're praying to. And then we need to know his will for our lives. So who are, who are we praying to? I just want to share this awesome story. When we pray, we are talking with somebody who is full of power. He's the one who created the entire universe. And he has power unlimited. He's the God who loves us. He's the one who came to earth to die on the cross because he loves us. He, and he rose from the grave after that. And he, have, he is all powerful And he's the one that we are praying to. And this is the key to not being afraid to pray big prayers. Because he is a great God and he is all powerful. Alright, my next question is what is his will for our lives? So for one thing, he wants us to experience his greatness here on earth. We don't have to wait for heaven to experience his miracles. But he wants us here on earth to experience his greatness and his power. 
And not only that, but he wants the people around us to also experience the power and the love of God through our lives. All right, let's say this to our neighbor. There is more. 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 I have something I want to show you. Do you know what this is? Uh, mango smoothie. Mm. Uh, swai. Mm. <laughs> mango smoothie. All right, does it look good? Mm, I wonder how it tastes. Mm. Oh. Mm. Yeah, I'm going to save that. You know, it's good. So if we just taste it and then we just you, throw you it you away, is it okay? Would you just walk away after you've tasted something really good? But you know what? I just had a, like a small taste of that smoothie. But you know what I should do? I should sit down and drink that whole thing. So think about that picture. All right, imagine this picture. Imagine you're standing before this table so full of food. Are you just going to have one tiny piece? And then leave? Who's going to do that? God is not just wanting us to taste him only. And experience just one miracle in your life. That's just a small taste of what God has for you. He has so much more. He has so many more miracles. Don't just be satisfied with one small taste when he has a feast for you. Just taste one and leave. Take time to taste, to eat, to feast on what God has for your life. I believe you've experienced a miracle from God. Who's experienced a miracle? Amen. Yeah, let's praise God. This is only the beginning. This is just a taste. He has so much bigger things. He has so many more amazing things for us. Don't just put a little taste in your pocket and leave. <laughs> Stay in this place and enjoy what God has for you. This is what Ephesians chapter 3 verse 20 says. Now to him who is able to do immeasurably more than all we ask or imagine according to his power that is at work within us. It's so surpasses. It surpasses what we can imagine. He has more. This small miracle you've experienced is just a taste. He wants us to feast on, on his goodness. This is the will of God for He has great things for your life. And he wants to bless you. And he wants you to become a blessing to others. Because it's not just for us, it's also about being a blessing to others. 
And this is why we can dare to pray those big prayers because we know the God that we're praying to and we understand his will for our lives. Because his will for our lives is bigger than what we can even imagine. It surpasses even our own desires. And his plan is better than our plan. When I began to believe in Jesus, I felt like I didn't dare to pray big prayers. Because I didn't know who Jesus was so well yet. And I was studying at a Bible school at that time. And after the first year, I could only pray like little prayers still. But when I began to know Jesus better, I began to dare to pray big prayers. And I began to try to imagine, God, what do you want me to pray for? And I began to pray these bigger prayers. Because I began to understand he is so big. And he has so many great things for me. And I need to just go take it. And this is what gave me the boldness to pray big prayers. And the next thing is, we don't want to give up on our prayers. And there was a story in the Bible about a woman that Jesus used to teach his disciples about prayer. And he said that there was a widow who was very poor. She was not um, influential. But she went to a judge who was not a nice guy to ask for justice. And this evil judge just sent her away. So she didn't get justice, so she went again. And he sent her away again. And then the next day she went again. And he sent her away again. And then the next day she went again. And she went every day, justice. And she caused this judge who was evil already that he couldn't stand it anymore. And he gave, granted justice to her. He was like, I can't handle it anymore. I'm just going to do it just to get rid of her. And what I love in this verse, imagine, God, he says, can you imagine, okay, this is what somebody who is evil will do for you. Imagine that God who is all good, what he will do for you and give you justice. And because of this story, it reminds us to persevere in prayer and don't give up in our prayers. I want us to see this picture. Guess which one is me? Which side? This one or this one? <laughs> Which one is the handsome one? I'm the short one. I'm the little short one. Yeah, I had my old pants. It was my brother's shirt. And that was my very beginning of my walk of faith with God. And when I began to be a believer, I was the first believer in my family. And I was persecuted by my older brother. I was persecuted by my parents. And sometimes they would curse me as I went to church. And I was studying at a Bible college. I read this story about the widow in the Bible. And then after that story, I began to pray for my family. And I would always remember to pray for my family all the time. All right, can you guess how many, how many years I've prayed for them now? 
from that second year that I believed in Jesus until now. It's been over 15 years since I've been praying for my parents. Because of this verse right here that says, if you pray and do not give up, God will answer your prayer. I've been praying for over 15 years. Three weeks ago, my parents came and sat here in this church. This is amazing. I've been waiting for 15 years for this moment. It's not over yet. I gotta keep praying. Because of the promise of God in this in his word. I will not give up. This is what God promises. The next thing, the third thing that I want to talk about tonight. Let's pray from our hearts, not just from our mouths. This is the, the prayers that God will answer, is the ones that really come from our hearts. In Matthew chapter 6, verse 6, it says, Then the disciples and he said, when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is in secret will reward you. Where's the secret place? In your room? No, it's in your heart. Because he wants a prayer that comes Because that's the prayer that every time we pray that comes from our hearts, God answers. And this is the promise of God for our lives. There was one time when I was praying. And most of the time when I'm praying for something, I pray normally. Sometimes it just is like from my mouth. But when my problems come up to here, I get on my knees and I cry. My mom went to Thailand to get her health checked. And they told her she had cancer. My sister called me crying. And I said, don't cry. God's got a plan. Trust God. But I turned off the phone and I just started to cry myself. Because as soon as I heard of this, I, I just got on my knees and prayed. And I don't know where the tears came from. But I just cried out to God. And a miracle happened. Two weeks ago, my mom came back from Thailand. She's doing so much better. She's gained wow. weight. And I just see the difference when I pray from my heart. God, He's so he hears us. And He answers. This is what happened in my life. The last thing I want to say. Because when we pray, we want to see a difference. We need to pray in faith. We need to have a great faith to pray. So praying in faith means even though we cannot see it, we believe. So if I talk about this, it's hard to explain. So I have a special guest who's going to explain. Okay, so he's the founder of ICF. And he is the original founder of ICF. And he is the original founder of ICF. And he is the original founder of ICF. 
And when I hear him share, it just it's so touching to my heart. And I love to hear what he shares. And I hope that what he shares today will transform your life. Please welcome Pastor Hines. Pastor Hines. I translate your question. Some new that that this is the question I want to ask you. If you could go back to when you were 25 years old, what would you change? A few years ago, my son Martin gave me a phone call. And he told me I have to make a, a message to preach. And then he asked me a hard question. What would you do when you can start all over again? I'm sorry. What would you do? What would you do different when you can start all over again? And then I thinking. I don't like to give a cheap answer. I'm sorry. I don't give, give an easy answer. I was a youth leader and I accepted. I see we, like people have come to the Lord. I prayed with people they have come to the Lord. Even I prayed with some neighbors. I have seen how God moves. I experienced that hundreds of people have come into the Lord. What would I do different? And nothing comes in mind. I helped a lot of people to share their faith. And then suddenly I heard the voice of God. And he told me, Is this all? There is nothing you had could do better? And then he reminded me, Faith. You experienced everything you believed for. I used to start ICF. But you stopped me. You stopped me because of, because of your little faith. And I'd like to show you something. Yes, strong. Yes. My face was maybe this way, this big. And I prayed on my knees. Lord, help me. I like to see this happen that people are coming to the Lord. And people are coming to the Lord. But then he whispered in my ear, Why haven't you had bigger face? You accepted the line. You accepted the line. And yes, I would have done the same all over again, but with more faith. And that's what I like to share tonight. God uses me according my level of faith. God who created the world, 
he promised me. Believe and everybody, everything is possible. And I, my face was like this. And he challenged me, go up. Even I have seen God's move in an unbelievable way. I limited God. And I feel sorry. I feel really sorry. And I ask especially the young people. Don't stay in 10 years where you are now. I'm sorry. Don't stay at the same level of face. Like you stay God has promised us faith who is unlimited. That's actually what I like to share. But Thank you so much for sharing your life testimony. Every time I hear him talk, I feel like such a child. I want to have a bigger faith. I don't want to be at the same place in 10 years. I can start right now. Say to yourself, I can start right now. I can start right now. Our faith is, does limit what we can do. So if we want to see great things in our lives, we're going to have to have great faith. Who wants to see great things happen in your life? We've got to start having great faith. It's not too late. He gives us to he is going to give this to us today. God, He has a plan for us. He has unlimited things for us. This is what God wants for us. Dream big. Pray big. Have big faith. This will change your life. I want us to stand up, please. I don't know what's in your heart that's so great, but you have not even dared to share it with others. It's time to break it open. It's time to share it out. And it's time to proclaim it. When we proclaim in God's power, let's do it together. Thank you, God. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your power that, that happens when we pray. God, I pray for the boldness to dream bigger. I pray for the boldness to pray bigger. I pray for the boldness to believe more. Thank you that you have something great for us. Thank you that you want us to experience miracles. And we declare today that we will be transformed from today on. We pray for our faith in this world. And we thank you, God, for your promise. We give it to you in Jesus' name. Amen.